right guys, in this pro training video, I wanna show you how to set up an Amazon FBA removal order. Now, the first question you might have is why would I even want to do this? There's, there's tons of different reasons. Some of the most common ones are maybe you wanna get all of your inventory out of Amazon because maybe you list, mislabeled it or you, know, you found out that there was an issue with it. So you're just like, hey, I'm gonna remove everything out of Amazon and send it back to my warehouse. Maybe you fulfill some orders in your warehouse or in your 3PL, uh, like for walmart.com or you know, Shopify or other things and, and you run out of stock in your warehouse, you need to pull a few back without paying a, a per item uh, charge. Um, you know, maybe you want to examine like a, a percentage of the inventory that you have in, in Amazon because of some kind of customer complaint. So th th the list goes on and on of the different reasons. It's actually really easy to do this. So let me show you exactly how you can set it up. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go here to inventory and manage inventory. Uh, after that, you are gonna uh, scroll down to the product that you want to remove. If you have also FBM fulfilled by merchant listings, you might wanna hit this fulfilled by Amazon filter here. So I'm gonna remove some backpacks and I'm actually gonna ship it back to our office. We have to send some of these to one of our other offices. So uh, here's the Helium 10 backpack. I'm gonna hit the menu here and I'm gonna say create removal order. This takes us to the removal order page and there's different things that we can do. We can do Amazon liquidations. Make sure to hit this learn more button to understand about that. Uh, we can dispose, have Amazon dispose of it. The one I'm gonna choose because I actually want these to physically be shipped to our office is the return to address. Uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and add the uh, address of our Helium 10 office. All right, I'll go ahead and hit save. And now I've got the Helium 10 address there. Um, it'll assign an order ID. This is so you can actually check it in your manage orders. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and set the removal order uh, ID of backpack removal. Let's see if it accepts that. I'm not sure if there's a character limit there. And uh, I put here, oh, 10 characters or less. I'm just gonna put backpacks. All right, now over here is how many I want to remove. Now, another reason that you might want to remove is there is a whole bunch of um, unsellable, unfulfillable uh, products, like maybe returns or things like that. If you have it set up, you can do that. This one doesn't have it. I'm just going to go ahead and say I want 75 of these backpacks. Now I hit review, and it's saying, hey, review and confirm backpack 75, and I want it to go to the return address. I'm going to hit confirm, and it says, hey, your removal order for backpacks has been placed, all right? So that does it. So this is real easy to set up a removal order. Amazon has some notes that say it could take up to 90 days for this to happen. I've never seen it take that long. Like the most I've ever seen it take is about you know two, three, four weeks maximum. And sometimes it might come in a lot of little boxes. It's not like they're gonna ship it all together. If it's smaller items, you know, like backpacks and things like that, uh, and not that much of quantity, you're probably gonna get it in a bunch of smaller orders like box boxes from UPS or or FedEx or things like that. So, anyways, uh, in the next couple of weeks, all 75 of these backpacks are gonna hit head to the uh, Helium 10 office, and we'll go from there. So that's how you guys can set up FBA removal orders.